Hallelujah. Good in morning. Our area. Good morning. See smoke in the sky. Hallelujah. We give God praise, honor. We give him glory for what it is that God, amen, has brought us here for today. Amen. And we just thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to play this song this morning, amen, because God said it. Amen. We don't own the rights of this song, amen, but we just thank God. Hallelujah. We just come to rejoice this morning. This will take you back, amen, a long way. Major player, 
what is before you. It doesn't matter what's being said. It doesn't matter your obstacles. I mean, we was in prayer this morning. He said that he would make us a fine threshing instrument that will beat down every mountain and every hill, and then the winds will blow it away. But you have to know, no matter what you're in today, major player, no matter what sickness you, that you're that you're in, no matter what financial problem that you're in, no matter what's going on at your church, no matter what's going on in your family, God has given you the ability to be a fine threshing instrument, to be able to beat it low, and the winds will blow it away. You don't have anything to worry about because God said it. He said it to you. He said it about you, that he is going to make it happen for you. He's going to do these things for you. And we have to be able to stand with God. We got to be able, amen, to know that that's what God said. Because God said it, that settles it. Because he said it, that I believe it. I'm going to walk forth in it because he said it. Because he said it, I'm going to do what it takes to make sure that I stand in the right places. And for every person that we're pray praying for, every person that's on our list, we're saying to you today, amen, that God said it over your life and he is going to bring it to pass. And being a major player and being a head of a family or being a head of, you know, a church or a praise team or whatever, whatever your position is in as a major player, there's going to be some things that come against you because of your position, because of what you're in. The enemy is going to try to come against you and stand against you because of your position. But you got to be able to know what God said on your life. Whatever he said over your life, he is going to do. We want you to like and share Amen. this broadcast. He is going to do it for you. He's lifting you up. He's bringing you to places in him that you've never been to before. Whatever God said over your life, he's going to do it. The thing that the enemy is doing, Major Player, is making you think what God said, he didn't mean it. What God said, you miss God. What God said, you know, maybe it was for somebody else. God said, I said, it. you know my voice. My sheep know my voice and a stranger he's not going to follow. He said it over your life, major player. Come on and like and share this broadcast. He said it over your life. And because God said it, amen, hallelujah, that means it's going to come to pass. Amen. It used to be a, a commercial um, e, about E.F. Hutton. If E.F. Hutton said it, it has to be done. Amen. But God is bigger than E.F. Hutton. God is the God of the creator of the whole entire world. And whatever he spoke over your life, it might tarry, but it's going to come to pass. God is positioning you, amen, in this kingdom, in his kingdom, for you to be able to go from where you're at, to be able to go to where it is that God, amen, is sending you, amen, hallelujah, that, that God is sending you, he's making, amen, hallelujah, he's going to make it all right, amen, he's going to do this thing, he's doing this thing in your midst, he's making sure that you're coming, amen, to places in God like never before, he's making sure, amen, that whatever it is over your life that God, amen, is doing it. He is doing it for you. He is doing it through you. He is doing it with you. Every vision, every plan. He said, I know the plans that I have for you. Amen. To bring you to an expected end because God said it over your life. And you need to say it to yourself because God said it. Amen. That's that, that we got to be able to believe what God said. We got to be able to stand on what God said. We cannot go to the left. We cannot go to the right. Amen. Because God said it. Amen. We have to be able to believe it. We got to be able to stand on the word of God. We have done all to stand. We got to be able to stand there for having our loins girded about with truth, having a full armor of God on because your mind. I mean, the enemy is trying to get you not to believe what God said over your life. But I want to stand here with you. I want to stand with you today to tell you that whatever he said, he's going to bring it to pass. Do it, Terrence. So you got to be able to stand in the place where God has said, you know, because God said this thing, I'm going to believe it. I'm going to walk forth in it. I'm going to stand on the word of God. I'm going to do this because God said it over my life. I'm going to stand on it because God, amen, is bringing it to pass. God is making sure, amen, that everything, amen, the hallelujah that we're in the midst of, that he's going to do, amen, he's going to do it, he's going to bring it, he's going to stand on it, we're going to stand on the promises of God, we're going to stand in it, and we're going to believe that God is able to meet, so wherever you're at right now, major player, whatever you're standing in, do not lose heart, 
Do not lose faith. Stand on the word of God. I've seen it over and over again. Amen. Hallelujah. We used to sing a song late in the midnight hour. God's going to turn it around just because it's midnight. Amen. It doesn't mean that God is not going to work for you. Just because it just seems like the end. Amen. That doesn't mean that God's going to work for you. You have to be able to understand some things have to be pulled away. Some things have to be taken away because God understands what's coming next. It's going to affect your next. So God is positioning you, major player, to be able, amen, hallelujah, to stand on what he said. Do not let nothing, do not let nobody, amen, hallelujah, take you away from what God has said. I need you to believe God, amen, hallelujah. And God said, I'm strengthening you to believe me again. I'm strengthening you to stand on the word. I'm strengthening you not to go backwards, but to go forth. I'm strengthening you, amen, hallelujah, not to believe the report. Whose report will you believe? I will believe the report of the Lord. God said it. That settles it because he said he will be with me. Amen. Even if, listen what he said, even if I made my bed in hell, he's going to be there with me. Amen. He's going to be with you. He's with you right now. Hey, we got to be able to open our ears and be attentive to that which God is saying. Be attentive to what he's wanting to do in the earth. Be attentive to how he wants to be able to use you. Be attentive. Amen. To be able to know that this is your season, that God is building you up. He's bringing you to places in him like never before that you will gain and then and not lose in this season and when you're losing you're still gaining amen hallelujah some things got to come on in order for the next to be able to happen in your life that you understand that god is bringing you to this place amen because he said it because god said it because he said it he is going to bring it to pass and that's what you have to be able to know that's what you have to be able to stand on that's what you have to be able to amen hallelujah believe god for that in this season that this is what god is going to do in this season he is going to make everything all right he's going to make sure amen that you get what he said that's why we build ourselves up on our most holy faith praying in the holy spirit because we're believing that god is going to meet us at this point we're not doing this just for form of fashion but we're doing this because this is what god said because we know at the end of the day you didn't believe in yourself you didn't believe that you could be able to do it you didn't believe that god had, amen will use somebody like you yes he's going to use you and you might have been through much you might have made the wrong decision you might have wrong went in the wrong direction but god said i will be with you because i said it i'm gonna bring it to pass let me tell you something when god speak a word he understands when he spoke the word over your life what you was gonna do where you gonna go who you was gonna connect to when he spoke the word amen hallelujah that doesn't make the word amen not what god said we just gotta position ourselves to be able to stand on what he said believe amen hallelujah and help god say god help my unbelief in this because you said it i'm gonna stand on it because you said it, i'm gonna believe that it's going to come to pass because you said it so i'm standing on the promises i'm standing in it i'm standing and i'm not moving i'm not moving away amen from the righteousness of god i'm not moving away amen from what he said i'm standing amen look at what it said we're gonna go to the scripture now amen we're gonna go amen hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah in the word of god and we just believe in that god amen we're going to amen exodus 3 Exodus, the third chapter, and you got to be able to believe that this is your Exodus. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God said it. Amen. Hallelujah. That he's going to bring it to pass. That he's going to do. Amen. Everything that, that he has. Amen. Said over your life. He's going to do it. He's going to do it for you. He's going to, amen, build you up on the most holy faith. You're going to be able to pray in the Holy Ghost. You're going to believe God. You're going to stand on his word. You're not going backwards. Amen. You need to speak over your life. I'm not going backwards, but I'm going forward, and I'm going to stand on what he has said over my life. I'm going to stand on it because he said it. I'm going to stand on it because he spoke it. I'm going to stand on it. Amen. Hallelujah. Because, because of what he said, amen, I'm going to believe it. Amen. Exodus, the church third chapter it says now moses was tending the flock of jephro his father-in-law the priest of midian and he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Herod, the mountain of god there the angel of the lord appeared to him in flames of fire from the burnt burning within a bush moses saw that 
though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. So Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight, why, why the bush does not burn up. When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, here I am. He just want us to be able to get to the point, amen, that we understand. Amen, look what he was doing. He was doing his everyday task. He was tending the flock. Listen, major players, you've been attending to what God had called you to do in this moment. You're not looking at trying to go anywhere else or do anything else. You've been tending to what God has put over you. You've been tending to the flock. You've been tending to it. You've been seeing about what he has called you to be able to do because he has called you to this particular place, because he has called you to this. He said, you've been tending it. And when he was tending it, he came to the mountain and the, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in the flames of fire. Amen. Hallelujah. Get right where you at, major player. Listen, I know we think we got to do all of this stuff for God to speak to us, but I want to bring to you just 10 to what God told you to tend to. I just need you to stay your course and tend to what God told you to tend to. Don't worry about what's coming next, but just tend to what God told you to tend to. Sometimes it's major players, and I know I'm a pastor, amen, myself, and you just don't see, amen, what, what's going to happen. You don't see it, so you want to change your course. You want to try to make something happen. I wish somebody had typed in there, hallelujah, I can't make it happen. I just got to wait for God. I can't make it happen. I got to wait for God. So if you just wait for God, if you just wait on God, amen, it said, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with the wings as of eagles. They shall walk and not be weary. They shall run and never faint. That's what God is bringing toward you, that you understand because God said it, I'm going to stand on it. So here he is. He's tending, amen, to what, what amen, he's doing his everyday task. He's doing it. And when he's doing it, God appears to him. God want me to tell you today, major player, amen, that God said, you just going to be doing your ordinary task, but I'm going to come and I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to come and I'm going to sit with you. I'm going to come and I'm going to sit with you. I'm going to do this thing with you. I'm going to make sure that you amen, do what God has called you to be able to do in the fullness thereof. I'm going to sit with you and I'm going to talk with you and I'm going to abide with you. And because I'm going to talk and abide with you, you going to remember what I said. I wish somebody said, I just need to remember what he said. Amen. No matter what you am, God said, I want to bring back to your remembrance what I said over your life. I want to bring back to you, amen, that you are more than a conqueror. I want to bring back to you, amen, that you shall not fail. I want to bring back to you that I made you a fine threshing instrument and you're going to be low the mountain. Amen. Hallelujah. No matter what's before you, listen, in the midst of what God is doing, because you don't see nothing, don't change your course. Don't change what God said. Stand on what God has said. Stand on it and believe that God, amen, hallelujah, is going to do it. Look at what he said. He said, when the law, when the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called him from within the bush. Moses, Moses. And Moses said, here I, here am I. You got to be able, even being called, calling on the name of the Lord, you got to be able to say, you got to be able to say, here I am. Here, here am I. I'm right here. I'm right here. I, I, listen, here, God. Here I am. I'm right here. Amen. Hallelujah. And then he began, he said, do, do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals for here, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Then he said, I am God. I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. And at this, Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. So God was reassuring him of who he was. He was reassuring him of what, what, who he is. I am God. I was the God of Abraham. Jacob, I'm the, I'm the God of, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the God of Isaac, amen, I'm the God of Abraham, amen, I am the God, amen, you got to know 
who you talking to. And sometimes we think we just talking to mere man. God said, I need your faith to come back again, major player. I need you to be able to understand that God has brought you to this place, that God, amen, has brought you here. And he brought you here to be able, hallelujah, to in, in, encourage you. He brought you here to enlighten you. He brought you here to put you back into a place where you need to be. Come on and like and share this video today. He said, amen, hallelujah. So Moses hid his face and because he was afraid to look at God. He said, you might be afraid to look at God because you don't feel like you can be able, hallelujah, to handle it. You don't feel like you're good enough. You don't feel like God, amen, hallelujah, because you're worried about, amen, the things you put your hand to and the old look and say, oh, I thought that was God. Look at where they at. Now, it don't matter what nobody say. I know what God said. Me and God got a, a personal relationship. I believe what God is saying to me to be true. So he, here he is. He hides he hides his face because he was afraid of God. The Lord said, "I have indeed seen the misery of my people, seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of the slave drivers, and I am concerned about their suffering." Let me tell you something, major player. I mean, God is sending you in because He concerned about Amen. Hallelujah. The suffering of others, and let me tell you something, major, major player. On the flip side of that, God said, "I heard your cry, and Hallelujah, I heard your supplication, and I'm coming in to deliver you." Out of that place, I'm coming in, hallelujah, to build you up because what I said is what I said. Amen. What I said is what I said. And I'm standing, and we got to be able to stand on the word. And you need to put in that I'm standing on the promises of God. So I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of the land into a good spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey, the home of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Pebusite, the Pegasite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite. And now the, the crop of Israel has reached me, and I have seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. He said, your cry today, major players, have reached God, and he heard you. He heard your cry, and he's going to meet your need. So don't worry about what you're in the midst of. Don't worry about it, because he heard you. He heard your cry. He heard you. He said, who has been oppressing you? I'm getting ready to bring you up and out. God said, I'm bringing you up and out. And those that are listening back to this broadcast, and you listening to it live right now, God has said, I'm bringing you up and I'm bringing you out right now. I'm bringing you up. I'm bringing you out right now. And whatever's been oppressing you, what's been sitting on you, amen, I'm getting ready to lift it up. Woo! I'm getting ready to lift it up off of you. Amen. Glory be to God. My co-host is here. She's traveling. Amen. Glory be to God. So we just thank God, amen, for her. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hey. Good evening. Good morning. Good How are you? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know that she's traveling. Amen. Glory be to God. And we're just believing that God, amen, is going to meet us. Amen. That God is going to meet us at this point. And when you understand that God said, amen, everything, amen, even the misery that you've been in the midst of, he heard your cry. He heard what you've been crying about. He heard what you've been down about. He said to them in the eighth verse, he says, so I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptian. Whatever you're in, God said, I come to rescue you. Woo! I wish you would give God praise right there. I come to rescue you. I come to pull you out of what you're in. I come to stand you up from sitting down. I come, amen, hallelujah, that you might have life and that more abundantly of life. I come to put you in a spacious land, a land that's flowing with milk and honey. He said, I see your cry. I heard you. It said in the ninth verse, it said, and now the cry of the Israelites has reached me and I have seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. So now go, I'm sending you fair to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. And God said, I, God, has sent me to bring you out today. He has sent me to let you know that oppressing that you've been in, that place that you've been in, that place of crying that you've been in, you don't feel like you can make it. You feel like everything is stacked against you. God said, nothing, listen, I am with you. I know you don't think I'm with you. You're looking at your circumstance. You're looking at what you've been in the midst of, but 
but you cannot believe that I am God. You can't believe that I will do this for you. You cannot believe that I will reach my hand down, amen, to you. But I saw your oppressor. I saw your crying. I saw what you've been in the midst of. And because you've been in the midst of that, I am going to do that. Amen. He said, and I will be with you. Look what he said to him in 11. But Moses said to God, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out? God said, I will be with you. And this will be a sign to you that it is that I, I am who sent you. So he said, I'm going to give you this thing. I'm going to give you a blessed assurance. We used to sing that song, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. He said, amen. You're going to know you have a blessed assurance that I am with you. You're going to know, and then even though you're in the midst of some hard places financially, you're in the midst of some hard places, uh, places spiritually, mentally, socially, emotionally, you're just in the hard place. He said, I want you to know, major player, I'm with you. I want you to know, amen, father, mother, sister, brother, I am with you. I want you to know, no matter what you're facing, I am with you. Amen. Hallelujah. There we go. She's back. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And, and even when he was talking about his oh, amen, that you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. And then so where you're at, on this mountain, you're going to worship God. Come on and talk to me, prophet. You're muted. On this mountain, you're going to worship God. Amen. I believe that, you know, uh, as Major players, the just shall live by faith. That's what came in my spirit. We don't live according to what the things that we see here in the five senses, but we live by faith. We live by faith. Habakkuk 4, he, he said we have got to have a, the Bible says in Habakkuk, we have to have a yet praise. A yet praise. We have to know that God, regardless of how it looks, he said, although the, 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 the trees is not coming to bud and, 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 and although the situation that the, 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 uh, the what is that scripture it's in my mind, but we shall live, the, the just shall live by faith. Although things are not going in according to how we want it to go and we might not have a ride. I, I'm just going to paraphrase that scripture. And, and we might not have any money in our pockets, but we must know that the just shall live by faith. It is a faith walk that we're going through Hallelujah. as far as, as major players. It's a faith walk. Mm -hmm. So the just shall live by faith. That's what came to my mind, Apostle. But yes, go ahead with Moses. Praise the Lord. Amen. And will you understand, amen, that the just shall live by faith? What you don't think is being provided for you, I, amen, I'm telling you to look again. Woo! He said, I need you to look again. I need you to look again because sometimes when you're clouded with so many things on you, you don't look at provisions. You can't see provisions. You can't see exactly, you know, what God is saying to you. You can't see it because you are clouded by what you don't have. You're clouded by, you know, what you need. You're clouded by that, that you can't see provisions. They didn't understand. Amen. Hallelujah. The scripture that you was talking about in Rebecca, they didn't understand, you know, the provisions that was made and then for them and even we have to be able to understand that God already said to you he'll never leave you nor forsake you so that means he's making provisions for you we have to tap in to what it is that God is saying you can't be moved by what you don't see you can't be moved because of the pressing amen it's pressing you but God said I heard your cry when you understand that God is concerned about you major player he heard your cry he heard amen what you've been in the midst of he heard it and because he heard it he said said amen when you when you have been brought amen when you bring the people out of egypt you will worship god on this mountain moses said to god suppose i go to the israelites and say to them the god of the father has sent me to you and they ask me what is his name what shall i tell them and god said to moses i am who i am 
So say, say I am sent you. So you got to be able to understand that God is sending you not in your own name. I'm sending you in my name, said God. When you get there, my power is going to be on you. When you get there, my, my provision is going to be there for you because I'm going to fill your mouth with what to say. But I need you to stay true to what I said. Amen. Because I said it, amen, that settles it. Because I said it, I, I am God. And you got to be able to know the God. God that we serve. And the thing about it is, prophet, is I believe that we believe we treat God like we treat mere men. And because the examples that we have is just with man, we don't know how to really walk with God. Come on here. We don't know how to talk with God because we think God is like man. Unmute yourself. Yes, absolutely. We, we have to realize that God said it and he, he meant it. And regardless of how the situation is and how the situation looks, you got to know that what God says stands. And so because we're major players, you know, oftentimes we want to do things on our own. Oftentimes we want to, to, to just do things the way we like to do it. I believe we were discussing that on yesterday. But we can't. We can't. We can't. It, you know, I'm reminded of Jonah. That was our, our our Bible class study on yesterday. Of Jonah, regardless of what God had said to him, God told him to go to Nibia and tell the people something to 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 speak judgment on the people. And Jonah went to Tarish. He went up in a complete different direction. And so, you know, we have got to learn to hear what God is saying as major players and not do it the way we want to do. And I have never seen that scripture in such light because this young man, he was a prophet, and he prophesied that there was going to be judgment on the land. But the people, the the the, um, the, the king, I believe, he, he uh, called a fast, and they began to pray, and God forgive them of their sins. And <laughs> Jonah, he got a that. He got yeah, angry yeah. because, yeah, because of what God did. And and because what God of, did. Yeah, because of what God said. But what God said is what God said. God had compassion. And Jonah was like, well, my word, I'm a prophet, and I said it, and now you're changing it. And he got mad. My God. And went the other. Let me tell you, people of God, we have got to be obedient to what God said. We cannot yeah. have it our way. We cannot do it our it's way. That's right. This ain't Burger King. Have it your way. Uh uh. We have got to do what thus says the Lord. And that's it. And that settles it. That settles it. That settles yes. it. Because God said it. We got to be able to stand on what God said. And when you said what God said, guess what? Some people ain't going to believe what God told you. They're not going to believe. You know what I'm saying? And I can imagine Moses going in here and saying, you know, let my people go. They were like, who is you? You coming up here, walking up here. You ain't even got no army with you. You came up here by yourself. And who sent you again? I am sent me. Amen. And because they took, because he was just a mere man in their eyes, they didn't understand that that God, amen, was with him in the place that came. Amen. He was by himself, but he wasn't alone. God, I thank you today. He was by himself, but he wasn't alone because God was with him. And when we understand, amen, it doesn't matter if all that matters is because God said it. And when we stand on it, no matter what it looks like, no matter what what, what is happening, and then that we understand that God said, and then hallelujah, that what he said that he's gonna be with me. He said that he's gonna do this thing. He said that I'm ahead, not the tail. He said that I'm more than a conqueror. He said my business is gonna flourish. He said my ministry is gonna flourish. He said everything. I cannot change the direction because of what I see. I can't change it and go in another direction because of what I see. I got to stand firm on what God has said. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I got to stand on firm. He said, this is my name forever. The name you shall call, call me from generation to generation. I am. I am that I am. I am, amen, the heart fixer. I am the mind regulator. I am, amen, and all you got to do is to know what I said. Don't go major players. I'm telling you. Don't go backwards because of the fact you don't see it. 
Oh, I've been plowing in this field and I don't see it. I've been doing this and I don't see it. So then you go back and then you change it. And then God said, why did you change it? I was about to rain down something over your life. And then you changed the whole thing because you didn't see it. Amen. Hallelujah. Stay the course, major player. Do what God said for you to be able to do. Amen. We were talking about, amen, last night. Amen. Hallelujah. How even when God, amen, hallelujah, reroutes you. Amen. When he reroutes you, amen, listen to what he said. Listen to that. Amen. Hallelujah. That you yes. can be able because God said it. He is yes. going to do it. He is going to, y'all my side. He's going to yes. bring the past over your life. He's going to do this thing. Amen. Throw it, tear it, and then wait for it. That's I need right. you to wait on the Lord. I need you to wait for what he said. Don't move. Don't move and be tossed to and fro. Amen. Because you don't understand it. Don't be tossed to, to and fro because they it didn't come when you said it was going to come, Major Blair. You've got yes. to be able to stand on the word of God. He said, amen, you got to be able to know who I am. And as major players, we got to be able to know who God is. Amen. Nobody in yes. your family. And you know what? And sometimes, oh, and I you know, saying, go ahead. I was saying, Apostle, um, that you are you are so on point with that, you know, because a lot of times we do this, we do that. But in the scripture here that you're reading, it says, "And God said, I will be with you, and this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you." When you have brought the people out, this is a token, and uh. In the King James Version, it would say, this is the token that I will yeah. give you that when you bring the people out, we will worship God on this mount. You know, a lot of times we don't want to wait for the token. We don't want to wait for the appreciation. We go yeah. before. You know, but most told them, this is the token I'll give you when you come out. When make your plans, when we come out of what we're in, that's when God is going to open doors. And the problem with us is we don't want to wait. Don't want to wait. We have to wait. Yes. Yeah. We got to be able to wait. We got to be able to wait on it. We got to wait on it. Wait and, and be able to know what God is saying. Be able to know and then what God and then hallelujah is saying to us. That we can be able to do that which God has called us to be able to do. Wait, yes, prophetess. Uh uh, prophet's house, amen, that we will wait for his voice. We got to be able to wait for his voice, wait for him to talk. You want to move too fast. Amen, my grandma said, you're too fast. You just you're fast. Just slow down. You're fast. Too fast. You're moving too fast. You got to wait on the Lord. You got to wait on him, what he's saying, what he's saying to you, how he's moving with you, what the things that he's doing for you in this time and in this hour that you're going to wait. Amen, we're going to have prophetess come. We know that she is, is, is riding. Amen, right now amen hallelujah a powerful prayer warrior and have her pray for you this morning that you'll understand because god said it i'm gonna wait for it i'm not gonna be moved by my circumstances i'm gonna wait on the lord hallelujah go ahead prophet and pray amen yes, yes woman of god we're gonna pray awesome word we just thank the lord on this morning amen we give you praise god we thank you god for your goodness and your mercy God, we thank you for your love and kindness and your tender mercy. Well, thank you, God, for everything that was said and done. Because God said it, and that says it. God, help us, oh God, to wait upon the Lord. Help us, oh God, to believe on the Lord Jesus, and we shall prosper. God, help us, oh God, to do the things that is pleasing unto your sight, almighty God. Father, we come before you, oh God. We lean upon the everlasting arms of Jesus this morning. Father God, we trust you, O oh God, because you are the God of all gods, and we trust, O oh God, everything that you are doing and everything that you're about to do in our lives, O oh God. We trust you, O oh mighty Yahweh, and Father, we thank you, God, for doing it, God. We thank you, O oh God, because you said it, God, and because you said it, that is the reason why we're going to do it. That is the reason why we're going to walk upright. That is the reason why we're going to do the things that is pleasing according to your sight, Father God. And so, God, we pray, oh God, you as major players, oh God, on this morning, Father, God, that you will touch us, oh God, that we will walk in your obedience, oh God, that we will not do it your way, oh God, but we will not do it our way, God, but we will do it your way, Father God, but your way is the best way, because God said it, we will believe what you said, God, we will wait upon what you said, God, we will trust in the Lord. 
Lord, and we'll not lean on our own understanding. Oh, God, but in all our ways, we'll acknowledge you. Hey, God, you will direct our path. And so right now, God, I pray, oh, God, that you'll touch every major player. God, that you'll touch them where they are. God, that you'll touch their hearts, mind, body, and soul. Oh, God, that they'll walk according to the way that you have called them to walk. No matter if we like it, no matter if we don't like it or we like it, God, but we will do what you said. God, that we'll stand on the promises of God. Father, we thank you now, God, that you're moving by your spirit, that you're touching that major prayer. Oh, God, that you're encouraging their heart this morning like never before because God said it. God has called you. If God has called you, then you ought to do what God has called you to do. And so we thank you, God. God, we appreciate you this morning. But this is the day that you have made, and we will be glad in this day. We will rejoice in this day because you have said it. Oh, God, you have put your stamp of approval over our lives, God, because you have called us, because you have brought us this far, because, oh, God, you have done it for us. God, we know that you're going to continue to do it again. God, you're a God of a second chance. God, you're a God of a chance, a second, a third. God, you keep giving us chances. God, you keep making ways where there is no way. And God, for that, we thank you. Because God said it. Just because God said it, then we're going to do it. Then we're going to walk up right before you. We're going to do the things that you said that we need to do. God, help us, oh God, strengthen this major player. Strengthen us on this morning. God, strengthen our minds. Oh, God, some of us, are, we're aching in our bodies. Oh, God, we're on different kinds of medications, oh, God. Father, I pray, oh, God, that you'll strengthen them for the task. Oh, God, that you'll give them boldness, oh, God. That they will set their face like a flint, oh, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we ask you. Oh, God, that you'll strengthen the major player. Because you said it, it is done. God, not our way. Oh, God, but not our will. Oh, God, but your will be done, Father God, on you on the earth as it is in heaven. Have your way, almighty God. Father, I pray, oh God, for each and every ministry. God, I pray for the church house, God, every church. And God, you know that by name and by number. God, I pray, oh God, that you'll lift their hands up. Oh God, have you lift the arms up of Moses when he was in the desert, oh God. Father, lift their arms up, oh God. Give them strength, oh God, from on high. Renew their strength this morning, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, give them a mind. Oh God, help them to put on the mind of Christ this morning. Oh God, give them the tune of a power. Oh God, to finish the work that they have started. Oh God, help us to finish the work that we have started. Oh God, help us to continue to plow. Oh God, like never before, oh God, to finish the work, God. Help us, oh God, that we will not be weary in well doing, oh God, but we will continue to finish the work because you have said it. And because you said it, God, we are born to do it. And this is the word of the Lord. Because you said it, because God has called you, because he said it, made your player, then it shall be done. And we believe on the Lord Jesus. He said, you that believe, he said, if I call upon the name of Jesus, then we shall be saved. Oh, God, you said many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them all. He didn't give a number, but he said many, that we were going to have many more than a number. Oh, no, too much number, so much number that it cannot be compared. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord, the Lord will deliver us all. Continue to trust him on this point. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Amen. Yes. We believe God and we trust God. Amen. Yes. We believe that prayer. Just begin to give God praise right there. And we believe that God is leading us here because God said it. Amen. And the prayer has, amen, given us, amen, hallelujah, that seal that we can be able to believe that God, amen, has brought us, amen, to this place, that God, amen, has brought us, amen, to this mountain. And because he has brought us to this mountain, amen, that God is going to do something with the mountain that's 
that's before you. God said, don't be overwhelmed by what you see because I am with you. Don't be overwhelmed with what's on your shoulder. Some things that's on your shoulder, God said, in this season, even as the prophetess was praying, he said, I'm going to move that stuff that you put on your own shoulders. Amen. But what I put on you, you're going to be able to carry. What I put on you, you're going to be able to carry. And you're going to be able to carry. You're going to be able to do this thing because that's what God said. God has brought you here. He wants you to know that I am with you. Amen. It doesn't look like it. He already, He said, I am with you and I already told you I'm not going to leave you. And I know that you've been up against so many things coming against your finances and coming against your health and coming against every single thing. But he said, that doesn't mean because you're in this doesn't mean that I'm not with you. Amen. He said, Moses, they was in, the, listen, the children of Israel, amen, was in captivity, but God was still with them. And he said, because I heard them cry, their cry has come up to my ears. Amen. They wasn't, amen, hallelujah, crying out, amen, for Pharaoh to do something because they know Pharaoh wasn't going to do it. But they were crying out to the Lord and God heard their cry. And God wanted to say to you, major player, he has heard your cry. He has heard, amen, hallelujah, what has come up before him. He has heard it and he's going to do it. He said, but I need you to plant your feet and plant your heart and you keep on speaking. That's what God said. That's what God said. This is what God said. And watch because, amen, the things that are seen are just temporal, but what is not seen, that's what's eternal. You walk through your church and say, this is what God said. You walk through your house, this is what God said. Amen. I do. You look at your car, this is what God said. Look at your body. God, you said this is what you spoke health, amen, and strength over my body. Amen. This is what you said. So whatever, because God said it, amen, I can believe it. He was, amen, hallelujah, talking to Moses to get Moses in that frame of mind. I know you don't, I know you think you're little in your own eyes. I know you don't think that you can be able to do this big thing that I'm telling you to be be able to do. He said, who am I that I'm going to go to Pharaoh? He said, you, because I am, that's because you are. I am, you are. Amen. Because he is, you are. Amen. And that's what you have to be able to understand. Amen. It's good to me this morning. Amen. Glory be to God. And we're just thanking God because God has given us, amen, this for you to be able, amen, to understand that God, amen, because God said it, major players, he's going to do it. Because he spoke over your life, you don't have to worry about it. God has said it to you. Amen. He is Yadabashorobosha. Yadabakoriasa. Because he said it, he's going to, yes, God, because he said it, he's going to bring it to pass. Amen. Because he said it. Amen. Hallelujah. You're before great things and so many things are on you. Amen. Because God said it. He said, you got to shift your faith, shift your mindset and believe that I am God. Believe that I am God. Amen. Hallelujah. Prophet, do you have anything in closing you would like to say? Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I 
be with you. That's what he said. All you got to do is hold on through thick, through thin, from the beginning right to the end. God said he'll be with you. That's